I didn't have a mask, so I thought this would do. And this is my knife for Halloween kills. Hey, what are you guys doing out here? So Halloween Kills is the latest and not so greatest movie from David Gordon Green, which is a sequel to his 2018 movie, Halloween. Not the 1978 movie Halloween, but the 2018 Halloween. That is a sequel to the 1978 Halloween. Just in case you're confused. This is a sequel to the sequel to the original movie. And this is awful. I really, really hated this. Who's there? Hiya! Oh, no one's there. It's just me still. Uh, anyway, this movie's just dreadful. I hated pretty much everything about this, if I'm being completely honest. But I guess we could start off with some minor positives. The direction from David Gordon Green is typically okay. The score from John Carpenter rules. And I like some of the kills. That's it. Let's get into the horrible other things. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this movie is not good, and it starts from the foundational pieces here, namely the characters and the story. The story is straight up trash. Honestly, it's one of my least favorite stories of the entire series. I found it horribly melodramatic and in annoying more times than it wasn't. The majority of the story is simply mob mentality bad. Jason, no, Michael Myers kills guys occasionally. That's literally the entirety of the story. It's like two separate things that got smashed into one thing and frequently they don't collide in ways that are interesting hardly ever. It's because it is, it seems to be trying to have this message of, you know, when is the disease worse than the treatment type of thing, mob mentality type of thing. We're all monsters inside of us. And yet, it comes at the cost of the story, the, the Michael Myers aspect of the story, because largely Michael Myers has nothing to do with the main plot or the main characters in this. In fact, he's killing largely random people throughout the entirety of the film, which obviously Michael Myers has done that before, but the characters are just kind of looking around for him and then they go into a hospital for half the movie and the, it just drags. It's just incredibly annoying. And the melodramatic moments, the drama in it, it just does not land. In fact, it, I found it frequently incredibly silly and laughable, but characters are another thing. So the characters, the characters are horrid, just horrid. Most of the film, takes place with characters that are largely unimportant to the story, which is also not great. Jamie Lee Curtis, you think she's in it more? She's not. She stays in a bed in a hospital for literally the entire film until she attempts to get out of it, gets need or knees a doctor, and then splits the stitches in her stomach and then just goes back into her bed. So she does nothing. Her daughter and her daughter's daughter are more active, but they also don't do a whole lot until literally the last third of the movie. The rest of the characters that we get to follow are has-beens from the previous movie and forced additions to the previous movie in this movie, which is really unfortunate. And all of them are uninteresting as the last. None of them have any character growth, any development at all. None of them have particularly anything interesting to say, aside from the hackneyed forced message of the film, which is people can be mean. So characters, story, not great. And that's really all that this is, unfortunately. This is a Halloween movie with so little going on, it's hard to sit through. I found myself incredibly bored and the pacing was tedious to say the least. The middle of this is brutal, absolutely brutal. There's hardly anything interesting that happens in the middle of this movie, aside from Michael just poking some people in the eyeball or something. And the gore is fun. I like the gore in it. It's just that it comes at the service of nothing. There's no stakes to it. All the characters that he kills are characters that we don't care about until literally the last 10 minutes. So it's just this boring slog fest of a film that has no purpose or goal. So I can't say I'm excited for the next one, even though I enjoyed more or less the previous entry. 
I just really dislike this. I give it a two or a three.